I went to the thrift store and bought these three Nerf guns, all for the exquisite price of just 25 bucks. Okay, so if all of you have never heard of the term Nerf thrifting, allow me to explain. You go to thrift store, like Goodwill, or wherever you have, cashies, whatever it is, you look for Nerf gun, and then you get exquisite prices with bargains. I paid $25 for all this stuff. I got this Hyperfire for $10, and it basically works brand new. And that is just for the expensive one. That's the thing as well. I didn't just get these blasters. I got the blasters with the magazine. With the Praxis, I got one, two, three magazines, one stock, a lot of discs, more discs, more discs, more. I'm still gonna throw discs. There's still more. I'm not finished. Almost done. There we go. And then with the, with what, what is that? The Proton? I got some discs with that too. 52 discs in total, almost three magazines worth of stuff. That's ridiculous. And keep in mind, this was used. All these guns have been used before. I mean, I got them, they were dirty. I had to wipe them down before I made this video, but that's not the point. The point is they're here. And obviously I'm going to review them. For the sake of review purposes, I'm going to do the Chad way, and I'm going to review the small one first, and then save the other ones for bigger videos, so hopefully I'll get an audience. I actually don't know if I can physically prime it with one hand. This is the, this is the Vortex Proton. It's a blaster from the pastor, and you open it really weird. It kind of requires two hands, but I only have one, so what you do is you pull back on this ring thing until, God, God I have to use my knee until eventually, you see that? That's a slot, it has to open, there we go. And I had to do it with one hand. Mine is kind of screwed up, probably because it's from Cashies, and then, oh, screw it. You take you take a disc, and then, and then you do this, and you shove it in there, and then it loads kind of realistically, and then you shoot it like this. There you go. Would I recommend getting one? Probably not, unless you want a flare gun. Review done. That's not the point of this video. I'm basically trying to explain that, yes, if if you're on the market for Nerf blasters, please go to the thrift stores first. Don't waste your money. Please don't waste your money. Like, I think, I think people forget how expensive Nerf actually is as a brand. I mean, this brand logo is a premium brand. I mean, even though the blasters aren't as good as they used to be. Here, here's an example, the Hyperfire is magnificent. I love this thing, and I've only had it for like an hour, and I'm already in love with it. And that's not just like me being excited because new toy on Christmas mode. I mean, that's actually in comparison to every other fully automatic flywheel blaster I have. It trumps the turbine, which has been my favorite blaster for months, over a year now, actually. I love the turbine, and yet I like this more. And I was going to pay $50 for this to get one new off of Amazon, Nope, got one for 10 bucks at Cashies. There you go. I mean, it's so easy just to get lumped into the system. Whenever you wanna get Nerf blasters, you just go straight to Target and you get whichever ones are on the shelf. And people are missing out on the old classics like this thing. I mean, even though this isn't really a classic, it's a good blaster that you can't really get as much nowadays. You can still find them on Amazon and stuff. I mean, what about this? The Praxis, the Proton, I love this. I've never even heard of it before until today. I found it and I was like, what is this? This is cool. And then they had the Praxis behind it, so I decided to get both of them. I thought this loading system was so cool and badass. I just had to have it. And this was $5. The Praxis was 10 bucks. $10 for a Praxis. And I mean, obviously spending $10, it's, it's gonna have its flaws. This thing jams more than a jelly sandwich. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. It's a cool blaster. If I really wanted to, I could open it up and fix it and take out the locks or whatever. But I know the locks are there for a reason, so I'm probably not going to mess with that unless I absolutely have to. But I mean, it's $10 for a blaster that is so cool even to this very day. I mean, I like the Praxis. I love the Praxis. 
I honestly, I like the small one more. I just love this loading system. Just the coolest thing. And then the Hyper Fire for $10. The fact that I got these three blasters for $25 what else can you get for $25? You cannot even get the Flip 16 for $25. Hell, this thing costs $40. $40. I got these three blasters for almost half the price of the Flip 16. And then I, I've got a lot of things to say about it. A lot of things to say about it. But that, it's not the point. It's not the point. I mean, look, look at this. This alone, I would gladly pay $25 for. And then on top of that, Praxis, Proton, ton of Vortex stuff. I've never had a single Vortex blaster. And just from these two purchases with these two blasters, I have enough stuff to use Vortex effectively in a Nerf War. It is also pouring rain outside. I just thought y'all should know that. But yeah, I'm mainly making this video as a word to the wise. If you are really in the market for good blasters, like, you're not a reviewer like 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 I am, and you're just in the market for a good blaster that you can have the most fun with before you go to Target, before you go to Walmart, go down to Cashies. Go down to Goodwill. See what you can find there. There might be deals. There might be not, but there might be. I mean, I don't I already don't remember the name of the store that I actually went to to get this stuff. I just say Cashies because I watch Dank Pods, but that's not the point. I mean, yeah, I'm just trying to tell y'all that, yeah, go, go to the thrift store first. Try and look for blasters there because deals like this, they come around all the time. I've seen people walk out of those places with Vulcan EBF 25s. Do you have any idea how long I've been trying to get a Vulcan for? Do you have any clue? And to be 100% honest, I could go back to that thrift store in one month and there could be a big yellow Vulcan laying right on that same table that I got my hyper fire from. It's possible. It's a possibility. Anything can happen there. At the same time, you could just be wasting all of your time and not get anything cool. But I at least got something cool. Lots of people get cool stuff. Y'all might as well try. I mean, y'all might as well go out and see what you can find. It's a half decent idea. And if it's if if you're if you're really smart, then it'll save you a lot of money. You will avoid things that you really, really, really don't need to buy. That's pretty much all I have to say for this video. I do not have an outro. See y'all.